Thank you. First, I want to thank the opportunity to present um, this abstract on idocaptogen Vic Lusso. I think this is uh, um, probably a requirement for all the investigators. Many of the, uh, you are in the audience uh, to, when you participate on CAR-T study to be able to pronounce all the names of the CAR-T product. Um, so the results from the first 33 subject uh, was already published published in New England Journal of Medicine last year, and at ASH this year, we are reporting on data on the full 62 patients dosed on the study and longer-term follow-up with the medium follow-up of 14.7 months. And so if, if I could uh, have the next slide, please. As a reminder to everybody, Ida cell is an autologous CAR-T using a construct for mirroring SCFE for BCMA and 41BB signaling. The treatment schema is shown at the top. Uh, patients receive fludarabine and cyclophosphamide as lymphodepletion chemotherapy on day minus five through day minus three, and the one-time dose of Ida cell with disease response assessment starting at one month post-infusion. So in a dose escalation cohort, um, a fixed dose of 50 million to 800 million Ida cells are uh, studied, and in a dose expansion cohort, 150 million and 450 million dose are um, examined. The um, Main eligibility criteria are also shown on the bottom, with most notable being for the dose expansion cohort. Uh, patients not only are required to have three prior lines and exposure to all three classes of drugs, but they must have had exposure to CD38 antibody and be refractory to the last line of therapy. In addition, um, patients with myeloma cells that has no uh, or low BCMA expression, meaning less than 50% um, of the cells having that expression, including uh, no expression by immunohistochemistry, are also included. Uh, manufacturing success was 100% for all the patients uh, dosed uh, on the study. Um, and uh, if I could have the next slide, please. We show some um, broad characteristics of the patient demographics on the left. So the um, median number of line of therapy for these patients are also six lines. Um, additional characteristics including patients, about 27% of these having high-risk cytogenetics, 37% of these patients having extramedullary disease, um, Close to 76% of the patient were refractory to the last line of treatment, and um, 70, close to 70% of patients being triple refractory, and 51% of the patients needing to have bridging therapy while their CAR T cells are being made. Uh, the current status of patients uh, on a study are shown on the right. So um, as of now, there are still 21% of the patients continuing on study. A majority of the patients who are off study or died are due to progressive disease. Next slide, please. So some uh, general safety uh, of interest are shown here, not surprisingly, as what we have seen with CAR-T therapy in general. Cytopenias is the most common AE as well as the most common, more severe AEs. Uh, for patients on this study, incidence of any grade CRS is 76%, uh, and for grade 3 CRS, it's 6%. There were no patients with grade 4 or higher CRS. Um, in addition, for neurotoxicity, overall incidence for any neurotoxicity is 44%, and for grade 3 or higher, it's 3%, uh, which is really only two patients, one with a grade four neurotoxicity event. Next slide, please. So response rate is shown here for uh, all doses as well as overall. Uh, we're seeing a 75.8% overall response rate, 38.7% CR or stringent CR response rate. There is some 
dose uh, dependent increase in the response rate for these patients. And of the 37 patients who had bone marrow evaluable for MRD, recognizing that um, earlier assessments are limited by cytopenias, uh, hypocellular bone marrows, um, 30 of these patients were MRD negative to at least 10 to the 4 or higher. Next slide, please. So we we'll show here in a table format, and I encourage people to uh, go to the actual oral presentation where we will show a little bit more detail of the actual Kaplan-Meier curves. Um, what we are seeing now to date is the median duration of response across all treated patients is 10.3 months. When we look at the active dose uh, of 150 to 450, which is the majority of the dosed patients uh, for subgroup analysis, we're not seeing a difference for duration of response for patients with either high ISS score for older versus younger patients, so it's age 65 as a threshold, uh, for patients with or without extramedullary disease, as well as for patients who did or did not receive bridging therapy. Uh, in addition, what we're seeing is for all uh, uh, dosed patients, the median PFS is 8.8 .8 months, and the median overall survival is 34.2 months. Next slide, please. So this is uh, the conclusion. So with the current longer follow-up on the phase 1 CRB 401 study, we are seeing a deep and durable response with a median overall survival of 34.2 months. The response rate duration of response PFS appears to be uh, at this time comparable to the pivotal phase 2 KARMA 1 study that Dr. Munshi has reported at ASCO earlier this year. Um, that study, of course, is you know with a shorter follow-up, so the median OS is still um, maturing. And then listed on the bottom are additional ongoing study with this CAR-T product in other myeloma settings. Thank you very much for your attention.